Welcome back. We're here at Lakeside Stadium in Melbourne. It's the 92nd Australian Athletics Championships and Commonwealth Games Trials. I'm your host, Dave Robbo, and we're going to be bringing you the action from the afternoon evening session. All right, on the runway in the women's ambulance, long jump looks like Jody Elkington from New South Wales. She, I think she has herself a qualifier as well. She's jumped to four metres 37, well over the three metres 80 that she needs for the Commonwealth Games. Still off into the single lane, Sam Carter going off very, very great. And not far behind him, Luke Bailey, but crossing the line. 152.64 for Sam Carter. Luke McCracken looking to go through in around 206. And here comes Luke Bailey. Just over two minutes, 10 seconds. It's for the day on the Tartan couch. Reed McCracken. How was that race for you, mate? Two lapper. Blew some cobwebs out. Oh, too much. Too many, too many laps. One too many laps. And they're your starters in the under 20 men's 400. Very, very strong. Dubler on the inside. Holding as well, and on the outside, James Cole. But Calvert has ended this home straight. Dribbler, very, very comfortable. And the New Zealand athlete moving fast. But there's our David Thompson coming on very quick. 49.85 for Lachlan Calvert. That's a very smart time. Patience, especially in the multi events. No, I hope second place in that 400 metres. Mate, uh, massive day for you decathletes. You had a good run in the 100 metres earlier today. Uh, you're happy with the end of day one? Yeah, I'm, I'm so, I'm stoked. Um, I don't even know what to say. Like, I just want to get through the decath, get a World Junior Qualifier and get on the plane to America. And uh, I've done really well today. I'm 200 points up on, well now I'd be more, 250 points up on where I should be. So yeah, I'm really happy. Into the home straight. She's in a race of her own here. She's streaking in front. We've got the other athletes on their outside, but Portia Bing in another league here. Very quick. 24.62. That's fast running. 1.2 meter headwind as well. Sophie Stanwell strong as an ox. It's Jackie Fry there in second. The WA athlete there in pushing past her, but there goes Sophie Stanwell. It's going to be very quick time. 24.47. 0 0.6 tailwind. I think he might do a few jumps. In the Jimmy hat. Athlete holding his technique together very well there. There's Ben Cook in third, Nicholas Gerrard in second there, but Ben Brown in race of his own there, 50 35. Very fast for a decathlete, especially after a big long day. For heat, one of the men's decath from New South Wales there in the second place. Stephen Kane on the outside, and then Chris White back to Marty Clark. But Stephen Buckley taking it out. He's a big man. There's a long way for him to travel. Very quick, too. Well, it looked quick, but the clock didn't stop for when he crossed. You'll never find him out of a pair of splitties. He loves those kinds of shorts. There's Cranston on the outside, but David Brock very fast finishing. And Hamish Nelson on the inside from, New from Victoria. But there's Brock and Cranston fighting out over the line. Unfortunately, the clock is not working, so we don't know how fast they ran. Son 51.14, Matt Harris 51.25. I'm going to let, take this opportunity to wrap things up. Thanks, folks, for joining in, watching us on the live stream tomorrow. We're back on tomorrow from 4 p.m. And we'll hopefully catch up with Sophie and a whole host of other athletes once again. Don't forget, athletics.com.au. All the live results will be there before the live stream starts tomorrow. You can get on the hashtag AAC14. You can also use the hashtag Tartan Couch, and we'll catch you tomorrow.